You know, I want to talk about this until the end. But this feels like the end. But I think I got some information that might shock a lot of people. That I think Kevin Durant will be clear to play game six of the... And I, yeah. Yeah, he will be cleared to play game five of the NBA Finals come tonight. And my anticipation for this is, I hope he does, not only to make this game more interesting, because for the past weeks, the past few games, not only have the Warriors been in uh, riddled injuries to only consistent player in the entire series, has been Stephen Curry, and I understand, like, the controversy over, oh, Stephen Curry, he's a little weak-ass bitch, he's not better than Westbrook, he's not better than Kyrie, he, he's a great player in his own special way of range, ball handling, way of maneuvering the offense to fit his own needs, he's literally one of the most revolutionary players of this current generation of professional basketball, he changed it for the best or worst in your opinion, and no matter how you like it or not, it inspires future basketball players to continue playing in either improving or setting the standard of how a point guard is supposed to play. And for a majority of the series, Steph Curry has been the best player in the Golden State Warriors next to Klay Thompson. Draymond Green has gotten some decent games in him as well. I think he was there defensively, got some good... Good rack down blocks on Siakam, Hayward, and Lowry. It's been tough stopping Marcus Saul, especially Fred Van Vliet. He's been there for a lot of outside shots, a lot. Which and Jeff and uh, Green, a lot of Danny Green. And now it's going to be Game Five, and maybe a huge out if we look up the recent stats. That was Game Four. Kawhi Leonard dropped 36 points, a block, 12 rebounds, and 55% off field goal range, only having about 5 out of 9 three points made. And uh, Fred Van Vliet. And no matter if you hit single digits or not, so you're an out. And uh, uh, he's an outside player. Fred Van Vliet is a decent drive around the basket. Barely anybody can block him most of the time. And he got eight points for it. Serge Ibaka dropped 20. And he was there for post moves. He was great for off putback plays. And this is Serge Ibaka, Kawhi Leonard, Danny Green, Mark, uh, guys that have finals experience. And like the first game, you saw them brick a few shots, but then later in the game, they finally upper the ante when they get to play their own rhythm, and they're at home. And thanks to winning two straight home games, they gathered up more confidence and more momentum how to play, and then we see the Warriors play at home, and we know how the Warriors play at home, no matter what's going to happen. Steph Curry's going to tear it up. So wh whatever comes, in your opinion, on how the Warriors going to play, DeMarcus Cousins has been under performing most of the game. He hasn't been that impactful. He'll barely keep up with most of the defenders, especially uh, Van Van Vliet can barely stop Siakam. Thinks he has a great wingspan to get to the basket. He can't stop fucking Marcus Gasol off hook shots. It's been a rough series for the Golden State Warriors, and I couldn't blame them. Not only did they lose Klay Thompson for a game, they lost Kevin Durant for four straight uh, finals games. They lost to Marcus Cousins, and obviously they even benched him game one. He's barely been an impactful all series. This has been a really questionable Golden State Warriors team the entire time. They should be blessed by the gods that they even made it to the fucking playoffs to begin with. In my opinion, I think that the Warriors could get, take game five. And that's just my opinion. They only say that KD is expected to play Game 5 tonight. I don't know if they might bench him early in the game, then the second half, he might uh, have uh, more time to play. But other than that, 
I really think that the Warriors might take game, might not game, take game five, or they might. This is going to be a more exciting playoff series if Kevin Durant sips on the floor. Because if you know Kevin Durant for a majority of the series, he played with the Warriors. They were more versatile, easier to get to the basket. Especially somebody like Kevin Durant does a literally all-around scorer and can pick up on defense whatever he can. So even if Kevin Durant... uh. With this extended injury that made him miss a majority of the NBA Finals, if he misses Game 5, it's still not too late for the <coughs> Warriors to make a difference. This is going to be a really bad, uh, really bad thing for the Raptors, especially a team that picked up so much momentum in Kawhi Leonard, obviously winning a Finals MVP. If they get the job done tonight, they have to. They have to, really. Like, they have to. It, it, like, you, they really have to get the job done. I think they'll be at home. After beating them last, a few nights ago, back at Oracle. So. Warriors come up short. They have to blame themselves. They didn't come that prepared. They didn't have that much bench players as they did last, uh last season. And I think Fred Van Vliet will be ready to play after, like, he got elbowed by Sean Livingston after attempting to grab an offensive rebound. And then Livingston, I don't know, because we've seen this before, like, when they faced the Rockets second round and got their ass, when they were getting their ass beaten by Harden, the only way to do it, beat shit Harden, this nigga, not Dropping 40 every game. Oh, my, uh, my eye. My eye. Oh, I went over 27. It, it, it's going to be like that. I'm not saying that the Warriors are notoriously dirty. They're obviously not notorious cheaters either. They're a team that build up their franchise off patience and literally homegrown talent and smart business decisions, and obviously they have a winning culture now over the past several seasons of now picking up five perennial superstars, two, two previous fi uh, NBA Finals and League MVPs, you got a Defensive Player of the Year and, and Draymond Green, still a decent, versatile big man in the Marcus Cousins that can stop defenders and can, you know, do some post moves. But their bench is questionable. I don't know if they'll show that much hustle. And they've obviously shown that they can't stop perimeter def offense at all. Like, they, they really half-assed it. And this might be their downfall come Game 5. I hope this becomes close. Because I, I want a Game 7. I know people like, oh, we don't want the Warriors to win. I want a Game 7. I want a decisive victory. I want to see if Kawhi could really be the man. But if they do a game five, they put words in my mouth, man. Let's see what's going to happen. Thanks for watching. This is the only thing to keep me calm other than my little scuffle with uh, uh, Super Showdown. So, yeah, be ready at nine.